Hello, welcome back to part four of trust creation in commerces. Now, the next step is that we want to connect the, the, the internal vertical uh, braces or vertical members to top code and bottom code using gasset plates in commerces. Now, I'll come here and turn this round like that. So we want to, uh, first of all, create the gasset plates prior to mirroring or before we mirror this to the, to the other end. Initially, on the part three, we tried to mirror this, and the reason why we, we never took advantage of, we never noticed or we, we never took in, uh, to, uh, take into account that uh, our, pali, uh, our our trust started the age here, at the age here, so it never started at the center of our column. So when we mirror, it will, it will mirror to the center of this column. So the span from that edge to the middle is 7,500. So we have to subtract 150 millimeter from there. So it should it should be from this end to the center, it should be 7.35. So it should be like that. Now, let's now try to connect. Create the gasset plate, connect the this, these struts or, or the internal members to bottom code and to the top code. Now, you know, to get the tool that will help us in, in connecting the, the internal members or the struts to connect the top and bottom code, we have the bracing connections here. So we will use these bolted gasset plates here and pick on that. So we want to connect this top or bottom code to this to these members. So we we'll right click and we have a gasset plate code already created right there. So we will connect, we'll create another one here, this and that, and we create a connection right there. So we'll say we'll pick on the top one, select that, select this, and select that, and create a gusset connection. It comes automatically and clean as that. Select on that. Select on this, then right click and connection has been created. Select on this, that, and that, and connection will be created immediately. Then the top code will just move and create connection like that. And come here and create create connection like that. We'll come here also and create a connection like that. We'll come here and create a connection like that. Click on that. So we just move like that and create connections. That, that, and that. So this will uh, happen neatly as it is now if uh, the joint connections were organized or, or arranged very well. So, so I'll select on that, this and that, and we'll connect, we'll, we'll place a gusset plate right there. So I'll connect this member and that member to that. So connect that to that and connect, come at the bottom end here and create a connection right there. So we'll come here also and create a connection like that. Even this will have we have to create a connection right there. We'll have a connection here using gasset plates and also another one we are forgetting right there. And another one we are forgetting right here. So we'll come the same way we'll apply to that and apply the same here. Perfect. We've created a connection there. So we have to create a connection right there also. Remember, we are, we are just using single, the same same, uh, the same same macro, and it applies to all. Select on that, this, this, and that. And you can create a connection right there. Now, we'll come to the last one, this one. And we create a connection. And this one also, we create a connection. And uh, at the apex here, we'll select on that, this, and click on that. So we have uh, created a gasset bit. But this one we need to modify. So I select on this, then double tap letter M on the keyboard and enter so that we get into the macro and uh, maybe define or give a different uh, give different parameters so that it will be able to work correctly. So since I have had a preset, I have, I have my own preset here. So I'll come here and pick on Apex gasset and load it. Then come apply and give it an OK. So as it is now, if I pick on on if I pick my point of interest and uh, right and hold my 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 left my, my right button and turn this round like that, 
like that i'll be able to see i have my my trust already in place and neatly connected so we, we've left one part here we've left this one out so we can connect that so you have this in place so the next thing we want to do just to mirror this the other end so how do we mirror that we select everything here so i'll press ctrl and get and uh, remove the column there so our midpoint is this point it's just the midpoint here in this mode, midpoint so this midpoint we not use this this, this midpoint because the, the the span from the edge of this particular column to the edge of this particular column is 7.35 suppose we started from the center here to the far end that would be 15 meters so that's why when you try to mirror it comes all the way to the edge here now we want to change our mirror line instead of the bottom end here i'll come to view here and, and click on this drop down arrow and uh, we'll pick the or the, the second option this is to the surface we'll create our, our xyz plane here let me just click on the plane right there right click and come to special copy here and pick on mirror so i want to use this part or this uh, construction line as a mirror so i'll just uh, look at place to snap on two places to snap on just to define my mirror line so make sure you snap on accurate points like that so i have my mirror line in that place so to 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 give an okay to the run command to mirror command the, uh, under this uh, macro uh, dialog box here under of mirror i'll come to options here and give an okay that it it should run if i give it if i click run i'll be able to see my trust has been copied the other end and this time around you're not seeing it's uh, flashing to the to the uh, to this side of this beam because uh, we never considered uh, that uh, we started at the edge not at the center of our column so this is how it is now the next part i'll show you how we can create the apex a joint here at the top here we need to create or create uh, a plate we'll create a plate here so, uh, so that the, this one will be one part will be assembled on side on, on workshop and the other side will be assembled on workshop or fabricated in the workshop and carried to site then uh, we connect this um, we connect it to, uh, together on site one side one side lift it up by crane then we bolt that side that side so let, let, let me first of all just create a, con a connection here so this will be a, a splice joint so if i click slightly closer to that so you can see is you can see we have that so the, the connection of this will just apply uh, uh, splice here so we'll come to splice connections here and pick the first option and select that and that and the splice connection has been created so we leave it at that we don't need to modify the arrangement of the balls so in here on the top here also we can create we can create a plate so how do we cre create that plate we'll use the points here we'll come to points here we'll come to points and to access the points tool we'll come to edit then pick uh, points here so i'll pick on that spot and pick on this spot here then uh, try to offset this or, or i can just leave it as, uh, as it is then uh, i'll come all the way to the bottom end here uh, i'll come and select that and select on this so I, once i've selected on the two i'll come here and come I'll come to special copy and uh, come to linear so i want to offset this member up by uh, probably 20 millimeter it will be okay 20 millimeter 20 millimeter and first of all make sure that your xyz plane is in the right place so let's uh, shift to global so i'll click copy so it it hasn't worked uh, perfectly because we fed wrong uh, um, measurements into a wrong coordinate system now i'll select this point here one we'll press control and I'll select that right click and come to special copy here and i pick linear so under linear I'll change all this to zero 
then I work with the, uh, with the, with the Z axis. So I, I'll offset that to 20. So once I've done so, I want to copy this to the bottom end by, by 150 or 100. So if I come here to special copy, then I'll come to negative 100 here or 120. Let me just type that maybe 100, 100 will be okay. So if I click on 100, I'll be able to now to trace the, the, the location of my points here. So you can see I have that point and that point. So what do we do? I'll add another, uh, another, I'll extend this plate. So to do that, I'll just come to uh, still here and pick on plate. So I'll just uh, create a contour plate here. So I'll snap on that spot and snap on this spot and snap right there. And probably look on the other end and snap on that spot and snap on the final spot right there. So you have, you see, we have, you have a plate in place, but it's, it's way thick. Just double click on it to change the thickness here. Change the thickness maybe to 10 or 6 millimeter. You can just give it 6 millimeter. 6, six millimeter is okay. So I'll go ahead and click apply and give it an okay. No object selected will give it an okay. Click close that. I'll select on this, double click, then I change this to 6 millimeter. I'll come here and apply and that will change to 6 millimeter. So you see it is at the middle. So I will select on this plate, right click and come to copy. So I'll pick it at the, at the edge here and bring it at the center here. So same thing I'll do here. I'll click on the, on the, on the initial plate and right click and come to delete. So I'll click delete. I'll select this plate once again, right click and come to copy. And I'll select at the edge here. Make sure you, you, you're picking the point you are, you are able to see. Then merge it to that point. So I have these two plates in place. You can see that these two plates in place. So slightly up here, I, I, I might not be able to place my bolts. So I want slightly to extend this. So I select on this member, I select and I'll click on that line. So I want to extend this up by 20. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm just, just click 20 there because I'm already on, on that line. I'll select that once again and select on this. Then I want to move it up and select 20 right there and, and close that. So in here, I'll be able to place the bolts. I'll be able to place bolts here, bolts here, a bolt there and a bolt there to connect these two members. So prior to that, you can see we have some sort of clash, some sort of clash. So to rectify that, we can do this. We can uh, just hide one of these. I'll come to I'll come to that point, and uh, let me give you all the details about this on the next uh, part of this particular trust. So let's meet then. This is Morris Dimba. I don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.